just to get you primed for a little bit of disgust in this video, I present to you the Tripophobia Glowing Rad Toad. Ugh, it makes you want to turn off bloody mess, doesn't it? G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Furious Assault Rifle. Now, I've had the Assault Rifle on the channel before in the form of a Hunter's Explosive one, but I really wanted to get a sort of a baseline on this weapon to see what it can do without any crazy damage-increasing legendary effects. I am aware that you can get your damage significantly boosted by the Furious effect, but we're going to play this stealth, and if we're getting 4 or 5 hits on a person, then honestly, it's not a really great stealth weapon, but... As a baseline, I feel like a Furious thing is going to be fine, and of course, I'm never going to test anything unless they're unique without any legendary effects. That's crazy talk. So we're sitting here at 37 damage with the powerful auto-receiver, and it doesn't seem like a lot. And you're right, the handmade rifle with the powerful auto does 50 damage, which may feel like it leaves you a little bit in the dust, but there's a little trick up my sleeve. Those of you who have actually used this thing back in Fallout 4 will know that this thing's got an incredibly fast reload speed. And with that in mind, we can go ahead and apply our perks and not having to grab um, Ground Pounder will actually allow us to grab Tank Killer instead, which will allow us to penetrate 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger, which is a pretty good perk to have, a staggering assault rifle, automatic weapons, that's like a recipe for killing your enemies very, very easily, so hopefully that can give us a little bit of an edge in our combat trials, but yeah, that is our loadout. We've also chucked on Bloody Mess to boost our damage ever so slightly further. Gives us 68 damage compared to the 92 that you get out of the um, handmade rifle, which does seem a little lame, I know, but it's something, alright? Alrighty, let's see how we go against the Super Mutant. Standard loadout, aligned barrel and stock, suppressor, reflex sight, and stinging magazine. So hopefully that'll give us even more armor penetration. So let's see how we go. Couple of shots goes into him. It is night time too, so we're getting a 3.5 sneak attack multiplier, which is very, very useful. Can't see that through that nuclear explosion. We missed that doggo just there. That's okay. We'll keep on going. And there's the reload speed, by the way. It's fucking quick. It's really, really quick. So, not having to use ground pounder is actually kind of advantageous for this weapon. So, maybe that's like the special ability of this thing, you know, apart from being super accessible, carried by every super mutant and their mother, there's actually something else to this. Where is that turret? They're so angry, these turrets. You can go away. Get out of here. Fine, after my soup, you'll kill you then. All right, let's go ahead and sprint up to the next lot over here get right in their faces and then hopefully cloak out of danger am i lagging i might be lagging yeah i was lagging that's okay we can go back into danger thanks to our chameleon bits and also um our uh, our perk escape artist that's the name you know it's kind of bizarre how they've got most of the commando pitches they're using that r91 assault rifle that was in fallout 3 but um, that thing doesn't appear in the game. So they had that as the commando weapon, like the little dude, the little vault dude, had that as the commando weapon back in Fallout 4 too, so it's, it's weird. They're not acknowledging the existence of this weapon as like the same thing as that R91 assault rifle, so I don't know. Could this be like possibly DLC content? that weapon be DLC content for Fallout New Vegas. New Vegas, no, not New Vegas. I've been playing too much of that, obviously. Fallout 76, the bad one. You didn't see it before, but there was actually Super Mutant spawning in my face, which immediately spotted me, then I crouched, and then I was immediately back into hidden. Like, not caution, back into hidden. So, you know, that's something. There also might be another player in here at the moment, so, uh... Yeah, that's why there was shooting going on before. I might have triggered the spawns to reset. But uh, let's just kill this guy. They're quite perceptive today, actually. I haven't gone back into caution just yet. And Okay, maybe stealth is just bugged out on me right now. You never quite know with this game, do you? Okay, we're definitely hitting those sneak attack crits now, which is good. And um, it feels a little bit empty at the moment. I haven't drawn a lot of these guys out and into the combat. I am suffering a little bit with hip fight accuracy thanks to not having ground pounder, but I think the armor penetration that we do get out of it is worth it, especially when these guys actually do have a lot of natural 
armor. They've got quite tough green hides, so that's pretty good. And we can always aim down sights if we actually need that accuracy. And there we go, there's a little bit of chameleon and escape artist going at the same time. But then we got detected. The game re remembered we got detected before it applied the damage, apparently, and that's why I didn't kill that guy in the three shots that I shot him in. Doesn't matter. We'll have to look past the bugs and just hope the gameplay is alright. Speaking of gameplay, I've got some mutations on this character now. And I'm going to run around with starts genes when I'm not doing these videos. Um, because I don't want to lose these mutations. I like having mutations sometimes, even though some of them are really dumb. Like the marsupial perk, for instance. Anyways, we'll head through this particular area now. We'll connect to the other wing after we clear out these guys here. But as you can tell, even though we are losing out on a little bit of damage by not having a high base damage handmade rifle, we're still mincing these super mutants so easily. And even without the Furious effect, we'd be doing pretty much the same thing. I'm only hitting these guys two or three times before they drop, so not too bad. You know, if they decide to nerf Stealth Commander, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. Not like quit the game out of rage unhappy, but just, wow, what am I going to do to stack damage now in a whole subtle manner? Sort of angry. If they put, if they put the Commando perks onto the Agility Tree, could you imagine that? I'd be mad. Maybe if they do that, they can switch some of the Gunslinger perks onto Perception instead. Yeah, there's something. We'll have the automatic gorilla and commandos on the agility tree rather than the perception tree. I don't really know because Bethesda might see some of this gameplay or some stealth commando stuff that I've done in the past and think, wow, that is super overpowered and they might nerf it and that that wouldn't be good. I don't I wouldn't don't touch my baby. My baby is stealth commando. Leave it alone. Alright, so I know there's a bunch of other super mutants up in these areas. Take this guy out, go back into hidden, despite that guy being shot. Yeah, stealth is a little bit weird sometimes. You go into caution and danger at will. Sometimes, instead of going back into caution, thanks to um, escape artists, you go straight back into, you know... You go straight back into hidden, despite, like, shooting at that guy, like, a second prior to it, so... You know, that's kind of weird. Just a couple of super mutants left at this point, I believe. So we'll take these guys out and we'll call it a run here in this place. Let's go for a little bit of crit spamming on you. Yeah, good stuff there. Anyways, are we done yet? I hear some stomping actually, so not done as of yet. Also, look at this. So you don't die, you just get a whole shitload of rads. Hope I don't give myself a mutation that's bad. We're fine, for now. Alright. Who's left in here at this point? There can't be that many left. No, we're back into hidden. There was a little bit of a delay there. I think I'm lagging a little bit. Didn't hear a super mutant there. Alright, so, not bad performance out of the lowly assault rifle. Again, its accessibility means you'll be able to find the attachments really easily. Just loot them off super mutants, scrap them, and you'll have a powerful auto receiver and all of the good stuff before you bloody know it. Okay, let's test our metal. Get it, because this thing's made out of a lot of steel. Against some ghoulies. There they are. They've popped into existence right on time. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for showing up today, boys. Now, I'm just gonna keep on lagging. Maybe I should have waited for like a second later, but sometimes rando players just rock up and like ruin the whole recording attempt. It's not very fun. Also, I've got no stim packs left, so uh... Wow, we're really in a bad spot. I'm really glad I've got the marsupial mutation, that's for sure. And now we're back into caution, which means we're able to sneak attack crit at will. And we'll pop down here and take out the rest of them. In danger again? No bloody problem. Just jump up on this thing and we'll be fine. Ah, Hannah, good to see you today, my girl. But now you are dead. Put you out of your ghoulie misery. Easiest cryptid to find ever. They're bloody everywhere, those Wendigos. I guess it's because all those... That cannibal tribe? Do you remember that cam cannibal raider group? Yeah. The Gormons, I think they were. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much the source of the Wendigos, so... There was a bunch of those blokes running around back in the day. And, wow, this is a bus driving ghoul. Good to see they're taking on alternate career instead of just 
sitting here in retail all their lives. That must be a horrible existence, like, as horrible as it can be for, like, a, a person who used to be a person, but then their brains rotted into something, and then their whole body is just a whole rotting corpse, and they have a angry hunger for everything ever. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a good existence, but they, they don't they don't make any favors for themselves by working at a retail wait, this is a this is a golf club, isn't it? Well, maybe working in hospitality isn't as good either, right? So honestly we're doing these dudes a huge favor by putting them out of their misery. Yes, I'm out of stim packs. That's why I'm not healing. That's why I've gone like half deaf, but for some reason, sometimes the game likes to give you a little bit of health just to keep you over that 20%. I'm not, I'm not really sure what that mechanic's all about, but um, it certainly makes no sense to me. Maybe I'm just, I've just got a little bit of grit from uh, Axton. Who is left, by the way? Hold on. Let me take a wild guess. Oh, of course it's you, mate. Yeah, of course it's you. Also, I better back off a little bit because one more hit, I'm dead. But then I survived the hit. <laughs> and then I got staggered and then I died. Well, to be quite honest, this fight was fucked from the start since I was fighting invisible teleporting ghouls. I'll pick up those acids, though. Those springs and acids. I require them to make more weapons. There we go. We got our nice revenge on these guys, and just to check, we should be back into hidden at this point, right? Yeah, we're definitely hidden. There's nothing else around, but stealth is being buggy right now, so let's just ignore whoever's seeing me, or whatever's seeing me. Oh, it's a glowing death claw. It's dead now. At least it's kind of easy to fight Swan. He's always just sitting here alone. Only one time have I actually been interrupted by other players whilst trying to kill Swan, so, you know, that's alright. And he's dead. Yay. We're invisible. Now we're not. Worth mentioning, this guy is actually a source of some pretty powerful assault rifles, so yeah, if you're really hurting for one of these bad boys, then come to Swan. Okay, let's kill some crabs. Hopefully, the people haven't been super bored yet. That'd be bad, right? Alright, so he can go down first. Ooh, he's one of those fancy invisible looking dudes. And he was immune to bats for a second. Oh, they're aggroed by that stupid fucking... One of those things that carries around those... Oh wait, no, there's scorched things around. Ah, okay, so they're probably brawling down there as we speak, right? Well... Wait. They're all scorched. Looks like the bat has done a preemptive strike. And you should be dead. I don't like it when the game forgets to apply your damage. That happens a lot. Kind of a lot when you're lagging too. It's not very fun. And yep, another crab just jumps down there. Would you kindly come back up to where I can shoot you? There you go. We're back in the danger for a split second there before he exploded into little giblets. At least they don't give you trypophobia. The giblets from the crabs. They're at least classy enough to not do that. Alrighty, so now we're at 60% adrenaline, and we've got 104 damage. Yeah, that's so much, right? Come on, Queenie. There she is. Ooh, she's a Scorch Queen, too. We'll zero on the face, and crit spam. Easy. Super easy. Yeah, despite this thing being a big, heavy, two-handed assault rifle thingy, it's actually not too bad on the VAT's AP usage, so it's not all bad. Alrighty, so we're uh, during the night again, we've drawn another level 65 Scorch Beast, and they're nerfed, so I'm not actually too worried about having so little health at this point. I got no right away. Uh, I mean, I got right away, but I don't have stim packs or any other decent healing items to really heal me up, so we'll just go ahead and take him out the old-fashioned stealth commander way. Yeah, enjoy doing, not doing that for another 10 seconds, my dude. Oh, I do have a stim pack. Did I? The game was telling me I had none before. Well, I wish I had taken some right away now. Doesn't really matter now, he's dead, so I'm gonna end the video there. So, yep, 
if you'd like to see this particular weapon in your game, um, hit me up on my Discord if you actually want this weapon that I'm using now. Oh, it's a double whammy, a sneak attack critical by a Scorch Beast, which I killed in one bat's run. Whose spawn was that? I... I don't know. We just did a double or nothing and I killed him in a bat's run. So, yeah, you might get a little bit less base damage, but if you can set your, yourself up to doing sneak attack criticals, and um, obviously you don't need ground pounder with this, you can actually punch through armor with it more effectively than the um, handmade rifle. So, we're not really seeing the damage, all the da damage benefit for this by looking at the number here. There's a little bit more going on behind the scenes. You're just not seeing the damage that is being, or that is not being resisted by those things. So, yeah, making advantage of the short reload time. There's number three, Scorch Beast, and four? Four Scorch Beast. Okay, there must be some sort of attack on a settlement here. And, uh, okay, we'll keep going, I suppose. Why the hell not, eh? But like I said before, this thing is definitely not anything that's terrible. It's still really, really good of a weapon. You just need to be spec to use it, right? Okay, we finally got some stim packs, but I'm not going to do the right away. I don't have starch jeans right now. We'll hunt down whatever that other bat one was. Well, as it turns out, he's just dying and then floating to the ground in a dramatic slow motion fashion. So, uh, well, I took out three anyway. Three is enough. So, yep, hit me up in my Discord if you want this weapon. I'll give it away for free. I don't, I'm not after caps. I've got too many. Thank you for watching, guys.